Hey everybody, Carla here, and today I want to talk about perfection. And not how to stick to it, but how to work your way around it, especially when it comes to a juice cleanse. This is inspired by two things. First of all, what Troy said on Monday's video about nobody's cleanse being perfect. You're going to come across situations where the, you're at a juice or you're at some place where you're tempted by some food or yada yada yada. And then also I want to shout out to a woman that I'm friends with on Facebook called Lady Spartan Wilson. This chick is Phenomenal. She is a fitness freak. She's getting ready for a show, of, um, a, uh, a bodybuilding show. And I am, I am complete admiration for her body and her focus. It's, I mean, really, ah, just amazing. So she's given herself 18 weeks to go ahead and get ready for her fitness show. And during this time, I'm watching her posts, I'm watching her updates. And she said the other day, you know, it's hard, especially during the summer, to pri to get ready for a show because there are all these events and picnics and cookouts and this and that. But I have to stay on my grind. And that, to me, is what it all boils down to. If you make the decision that you're going to go ahead and do a cleanse, or you're going to, like for example, I am next month in August, the entire month of August, I'm doing this 30-day Bikram Yoga Challenge. So I'm committed to it. I'm saying this right now just on a video, and I'm saying this to myself. I'm committed to doing this. That means I'm going to do whatever I need to do to move my life around so that every single day I take a Bikram yoga class. Plain and simple. Now, does that mean that, that every day is going to be perfect? Does that mean that I'm going to hit a Bikram yoga class at the same time every day? That meetings won't come up? That emergencies don't come up? That, you know, the, the car breaks down or the this happens or the that happens? No, that's not what it means. What it means is that I'm saying I'm committing to that day. I'm committing to that challenge. I'm committing to that promise that I made for myself. So if something happens earlier in the day, you can bet your bippy that I'm going to do whatever I have to do to make a class. By the time midnight rolls around, a class will have happened. Same thing for Troy. Same thing for Lady Spartan Wilson. We've all decided that we're making this commitment to our word. And that is is the way that you can be perfect. Now, when I say perfection, you know, <laughs> you're gonna have times that you run out of juice, you run out of groceries, and you don't know what to do. Does that mean that you can go to the store and grab a naked juice? Does that mean that, you know, you happen to be passing a Robex and they, they juice at Robex now? You can grab a wheatgrass shot or a fresh juice from there or, you know, Worst comes to worst, you grab the, the clearest grapefruit juice, non-pasteurized or pasteurized. You know what I'm saying? I mean, do what you can to be true to your own word. Because stuff is going to happen. And events are going to come up. And people are going to get sick. And you're going to go through a stressful time. And all of that. It's all about your word, though, and your commitment to that. So even during the summer, when all of these events come up and people want you to come here and there are weddings and cakes and all kinds of stuff, did you say that you were going to cleanse? Did you say that you were going to juice? Did you say that you were going to exercise every day? What did you say that you were going to do? Remind yourself of that and stick to that every day. That's how you get the results. That's how you can be perfect. The execution in itself may not be but you are always perfect to your word. That's what counts. I'll see you later.